This last season has been a great season here at Toronto Zoo for Corby frogs. It's the first time we've had mature frogs and bred, uh, and bred those frogs. Uh, of 23 mature females, we had eggs from probably 20 of those this season, so we did really well obtaining eggs from the females. And not only were southern Corby frogs, we were northern Corby frogs too. Uh, we bred most of our northern Corby frogs and obtained a large number of northern Corby frog eggs, which will be used for a reintroduction. Uh, the southern Corby frogs we've retained here at the zoo, and they're rearing up as tadpoles, they've done really well. The tadpoles have grown, uh, they're now at full size, they're doing very well. And only a few days ago, we pulled out our first metamorph for the season. And over the next few weeks, we should start to see a lot more metamorphos throughout the rest of October through November and December. The reason we need to set up an ex situ recovery program for these guys uh, is because in the wild, we, we Pretty much, we're pretty confident within the next five to ten years, without human intervention, they would go extinct. So really, this is an insurance colony to make sure they don't go extinct. Uh, so by basing it here at the zoo in a full quarantine facility such as this, we're not going to introduce any new pathogens, and that way these frogs can continue along. Uh, we can continue to breed them over the next five to ten years and reintroduce them as part of reintroduction trials, just to try to keep the species persistent in the wild long enough that hopefully it can build its own resistance to chytrid uh, and then start to breed in the wild, uh, living in a chytrid environment. Uh, Chytrid fungus is a pathogen that's uh, really affecting the corroboree frogs and it's a waterborne fungus that attacks the skin of the frogs. In Australia we've lost six to seven species that we know of so far, I'd be suspect due to chytrid fungus, including a couple of other frogs that we're working with here at Taronga Zoo, including the Burralong frog and the yellow spotted bell frog, which also rapidly declined, uh, declined due to chytrid fungus. The corroboree frog in particular is an important species to conserve because I guess they're such an iconic animal. Uh, they're, they're bright yellow and black, they're a beautiful looking animal. Uh, they used to be a very important part of the ecology uh, up in the Snowy Mountains ecosystems, particularly in the sphagnum bogs, where there could have been tens of thousands of these frogs, so to lose them would be a massive shame.